Six. All good? Good. Let's do it. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Real Talk about real estate with Peter and Nicole. Beginning to sound a lot like a broken record with uh, continuous week over week increases, um, but that is true again this week, all relevant indicators. Uh, what's particularly interesting about the latest update is it appears as though we are re-entering territory that we saw pre-COVID in terms of level activity. Um, we're sort of uh, right around that same level. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think overall consumer activity, it's rebounded a lot faster than we all thought. Uh, sellers are still taking a while to take note. We're, we're short on the amount of listings and the number of registered offers is, is through the roof, uh, much like last week. So. Yes, it's rebounded, but uh, only one side of the market has really figured that out, and that's resulted in still uh, yet another continuing on seller's market. Um, I had watched a, a webinar about industry updates earlier this week, and there was an appraiser on who said that he is seeing a surge in divorce and matrimonial-related uh, reasons to sell. So that may be one reason we see more listings come on the market, as unfortunate as it may be. Yeah, and the flip side of that coin, uh, some of the bigger companies, uh, they've told their employees straight up, you're going to be working from home until January or indefinitely. So that's changed uh, a lot of how people are buying homes. People aren't crazy about having to be in Burlington or as far east as possible. Uh, they're okay with expanding their geographical location. So they'll, they'll go to Kitchener or Hamilton or Niagara, and that's really pushing the sprawl out and kind of changing the dynamics of the market. Just another change that we've seen uh, from COVID. Yep. New reasons to get into the marketplace one way or another. Um, whether or not prices are going to drop remains to be a very hot topic of conversation. And mm -hmm. I just don't see that happening. You know, all the indicators we were touching on, uh, at least not in our marketplace anyways. No. It's, uh, yeah, been pretty, pretty crazy um, in terms of activity and continued increases. So... Yeah. Anyway, switching gears. Yes, Nicole, fact or fiction, uh, as long as you have an active real estate license, you can trade real estate anywhere in Ontario. That is fiction. I mean, fact. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. Uh, it is fact, just clarify. Um, yeah, I mean, companies like Purple Bricks, for instance, they operate like a call center where um, somebody might be scheduled to work and they live in Ottawa and they receive an offer to assist on maybe a house in Windsor, um, it's pretty wild to imagine that they'd be able to give any insight on local market dynamics or maybe important developments that are happening which would impact the listing. Um, so it is true, well, as long as you have a, a real estate lic license, you can trade anywhere in Ontario. But um, a good realtor who is looking out for the best interests of their client and not a paycheck would refer their client to a local expert um, if it's beyond their area of trading. Perfect. Your turn, fact or fiction. Um, I just opened my property tax bill. So uh, the value um, given by MPAC, fact or fiction, it tends to parallel market value. That is fiction. Fiction, emphasis on fiction. <laughs> uh, we, we get a lot of calls from buyers uh, when the, they're looking for a home and they're, and they're maybe basing their offer on the assessed value of a home that they're interested in, which is assessed for tax purposes. This is a much different criteria than we use uh, for market value. Obviously, the supply and demand dynamics aren't playing a role in MPAC's decision when they're assessing a home. So often those assessments are thousands, hundreds of thousand dollars less than what the market value is of the home. And luckily this is the case or else all of our taxes would be absolutely <laughs> through the roof. Uh, so yes, just keep that in mind when you are looking at the assessed value of a house uh, compared to what the mar actual market value is. I think that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And try to find yourself on a patio this weekend because we're in stage two. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Cheers.